In this video, we will be starting the methods of constructing the weighted index number. See, in the simple index number, we have two methods, that is simple aggregative method and the uh, price related method. In this also, there are two methods. Number one is weighted index of price related method. And the other one is weighted aggregative method. Now, what you will do in the price related method. The price index of the current year in relation to the base year is equal to summation RW divided by summation W. Where W are the weights that are assigned to the goods. R is the price relative which we used to find out with the formula that is P1 divided by P0 into And the weighted aggregative method can be calculated by three formulas. The first formula was given by that is last year's method, which is price of the current year with relation to the base year is equal to summation price of current year into quantity of base year divided by summation price of base year into quantity of base year into now P1 here is the price of current year P0 is the price of base year And the quantity 0 is the quantity of base. The other two formulas are Parshish method and the third one is the Fisher's method. Let's understand the both of these. The second one is the Parshish method in which the price index of the current year with relation to the base year is calculated by summation price of the current year into quantity of the current year divided by price of the base year into quantity of the current year into 100. So he used the current year quantity as the weights. So P1 is the Price of current year P0 is the price of base year and Q1 is the quantity of current year. And the third one is your most ideal method that is the Fisher's method of index numbers. That is the price index of the current year in relation to the base year is calculated by under root P1 into Q0 divided by P0 into Q0 into P1 into Q1 divided by P0 into Q1 into 100. Now what Fisher has done, Fisher has combined the last pairs and the partial method and it has given the under root after that and into 100. So the Fisher method is an ideal method. The choice of method for the construction of index number will depend upon the object with which a particular index number is constructed. Many formulae may be used for the construction of index number. 
but all may not be suitable for the specific purpose in hand. Some of the important formula which do not conform to certain appropriate tests to con of consistent behavior, it implies that these formula give us biased results. So, Fisher's method is considered as the ideal method of constructing the index number because it is based on variable weight. So, so why Fisher's method is considered as an ideal method because it is con based on variable weights. Second is here, it takes into consideration the price and quantities of both the base year and the current year. So it is taking the quantities and the price of the base year as well as the current year both. It is based on the geometric mean which is regarded as the best mean for calculating the index number. So based on the geometric mean. Then, it takes into consideration the price and quantities of both the year. Fisher method satisfies both the time reversal test and the factor reversal test. This is the most important uh, reason why we consider it as the ideal method is because it satisfies the time reversal test and factor reversal test. The time reversal test implies that the formula for calculating an index number should be such that will give the same ratio between one point of comparison and the other no matter which of the two is taken as base so if you take the price of uh, which one you have taken the base year you have to take it as current year and then next other one is the base year so the answer will be the same so time reversal means that if we change base year to current year and vice versa then the product of two indexes should be equal to unity. Thus an index number should work both ways that is forward as well as backward. So due to this the Fisher method is considered as the ideal method for the index numbers. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.